Hello everyone, and welcome to another review. Today we're gonna to go ahead and review a fragrance from the house of Diaz and Durja. I've never done a fragrance review from this house, so it should be an interesting dive into this house. So the fragrance that we're gonna to review today is called Mississippi Medicine. This is the bottle in the presentation. This is a 50 milliliter bottle. The fragrance was released in the year 2011, I believe. The This is the only bottle size that I've seen, and the 50 milliliter is gonna run you about $106. The presentation is very simple, just as Diaz and Durja on the front, the little tree-like icon, and when you flip it here is where you'll see where it says Mississippi Medicine right over here. There we go. Other than that, that's really all there is to the actual presentation of the bottle. So let's go ahead and dive into the notes of this fragrance really quick. The notes consist of birch tar, violet, white spruce, cypress root, and incense. So the, this fragrance was modeled, supposedly modeled after uh, the Proto-Mississippian death cult, which is like around in the 1200s. I'm not sure completely what that means, and I kind of looked it up, and what I discovered was they used to bury their dead within these wooden-like houses, and they would then burn those houses down. And this smell is supposed to kind of symbolize that, and I can kind of see the concept behind it once you look at it from that perspective. Mississippi Medicine, the way it opens, is a very a very woody and a very medicinal scent. Now all of the notes that I just listed off, you actually get from the fragrance. So you get a very harsh violet in it. Uh, the woods that you can smell in it are definitely there. Now I smell cypress, I'm not sure what my cypress root is, but I get a bit of cypress, I uh, get a bit of white spruce, violet tar and incense they're all in there but they combine to create something a little bit more smooth i would say so it comes to me off as a smooth smoky wooden scent now if i was to compare it to kind of like a real life situation or anything like that i would say this smells like almost like a fireplace sort of so if you sat in front of a fireplace got up walked away this would kind of smell like you or if you burnt a whole bunch of leaves and you'd happen to be standing next to it and you walked away from that, this would kind of give you the smell of that. So it kind of has this smooth wooden smell that smells, that has the smokiness to it that gives it this burnt-like quality to it. Now, the, the other note that really jumps out in this smell is the tar smell. Uh, it, it's a tar smell, but it's not a very strong tar smell. It's a very, I would say, almost like a, a little bit a more on the sweet side. It kind of gives it a little bit of a sweetness, not a candy-like sweetness, but it gives it a sweetness to the point where it doesn't smell too bitter. Because when you open it up, the violet kind of gives it this bitter type of a smell to it, and it's kind of taken over by that tar, which to me at least gives a little bit more of a sweet smell to it. So overall, you get a very smooth wooden smell with a lot of smokiness to it. And that pretty much is Mississippi Medicine. So I generally go about three to four sprays on this one from what I've seen. Three to four sprays is enough to kind of envelop you in it. This fragrance doesn't have a monster projection to it. It has a very fair projection to it. So I would say about average. Now your personal scent cloud will be, uh, it'll be all over you. You'll be able to smell it continuously, but it doesn't really have that projection that'll go out. And it does leave a very fair scent trail to it. It lasts anywhere between, which is, and this is one of the things that kind of confounds me about this. This will last anywhere between three and nine hours on my skin. So it's a very, very varied. I've had it disappear after three hours, and I've had it still stay on my skin after nine hours. So go figure, I really can't nail down uh, the science behind how this is actually lasting on my skin. Occasion wise, this one's a. Occasion wise, I had a, I had trouble with this one, and the reason I say I had trouble because to me again, it smells like you've been st sitting in front of a fireplace. Where do you wear something that you want <laughs> that you that makes you smell like you've been sitting in front of a fireplace? I can te technically see you wearing it at work, not necessarily in the corporate environment, but if you have like an outdoors job, I think this might be a little bit better for you to actually wear to work. Casual fragrance, same thing wear it outdoors you know i think it's more of an a fragrance that will be more suited to again an outdoorsy or you know a very active person who spends a lot of time outdoors and may like this smell now as far as age group 
it has a mature vibe to it, but I still think that anyone can pull this off. And I'm very curious to see how teenagers might do with this one. It's a little bit out of their price range for it, or at least what I would think is price range to most, but I still think it would be worth a shot at uh, teen different teenagers trying this for a scent. And I would say season-wise, this is definitely an all year season fragrance. You can pretty much wear it all year round. Again, wood really doesn't have a season, and for that, you can wear this all when all the way around. Now, as with all my fragrances, I always take them, have people smell them, have people give their opinions on it, and this fragrance was no exception. So I had 100 people, you know, take a smell at it, take a sniff at it, and the results were as follows. 43 people liked it. Of the people who liked it, they said it was very unique, they said that it was very manually, and they said that it was very wood woody, was the scent. 25 people disliked it. Of the people who disliked it, they said that it was too smoky, that it, that it smelled medicinal. And what was the third one? The third one was nuts. Well, like burning, sorry. That's what I thought it was burning. Burning. They, smelled, and they said that it smelled too much uh, like something was burning, basically, and they didn't like the smell of it. And 32 people, two people thought it was neutral. And of the people who were neutral, they really thought that um, they thought that it was an okay smell, but they really couldn't, you know, figure themselves wearing and smelling like this. So they didn't dislike it, but they said that it did that it didn't smell something like something that they could get behind. So those were thrown into neutral as well too. Personally, I give this scent a seven out of a ten rating. I give it a set of seven out of ten rating because I do think that is actually a very courageous and a better take on woody fragrances than most woody fragrances go to. The problem with this fragrance to me is that it tends to go a little bit more towards uh, being a true woody fragrance and having that smokiness. It smells like you're like a fireplace and it's kind of hard to place a, and where you would want to smell like a fireplace. So for that matter, you know, it's kind of a little bit on the harder side to wear and more of like an artistic like type of a fragrance rather than something uh, being worn all the time. But again, that's just my opinion. As always, I would say highly recommend you try this one out, especially if you're looking for an authentic woody type of a smell. Definitely take a look at this one and it'll be something that not many people uh, have smelled or any people have smelled in your circle for that matter. It's a definitely a unique woody on that, a unique woody scent on that, and you can count on it being very um, standalone-ish in that manner. And there was one thing that I, uh, there was one other thing I would say yeah, it is, it's, again, it is a little bit harder to wear. That's a, pretty much my opinion on it, but it is a good smelling scent, and I do like the actual scent. Initially, I found it a little bit hard to get used to, but once I did get used to it, I actually found that I did like it a lot, right? So, if you have any questions whatsoever on this, please feel free, let me know, leave me a comment down below, tell me what you think, if you've uh, perhaps come across this, I haven't come across, many people have come across this, but either way, let me know. Thank you, take care of yourselves, and have a great day.